one of my favorite weekends of the year, without a doubt. Always feels like a big reunion. The main reason I'm going up to Squaw Valley right now is that I was invited by Craig Thornley, the race director of Western States, to do a screening of Life in a Day, my film about the Western States 100 last year. Casey, Magda, and Devin will be there along with John Trent to help me moderate. I am not, however, making an official Western States film outside of this because, you know, it's been three years. I'll still do some filming here and there, but um, not in any official... Watch out, Hazard reported ahead. I can't tell you how much I love this view. Always reminds me of that first drive past the tunnel in Yosemite. Here we are. Squaw Valley people! Hey. How are you, Casey? Hi, oh. Good seeing you. Oh, sorry, sorry. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Oh, guys. How are you? <laughs> How you doing? Right, nice. Good to see you. Billy. I like it's like with the GoPro, yeah, man. Was, it's it's a vlog on vlog. Dude, I hate GoPros, but I, I sold out. Mm. It's Mega <laughs> Mix! Oh my god! How's it going? See ya. Let's see if you can hug back. No, it's okay. Following the paths of previous miners who fell over here. Casey, Magda, and Devin, if you wouldn't mind coming up and join us up front here. Three <laughs> gentlemen. <laughs> Day number one in Squaw Valley. I was originally supposed to crash in my truck, but I ran into Christopher Danucci and Jenny, and they invited me to stay at their big rental, so couldn't pass that up. The screening went really well. I just can't wait for the entire day of pre race festivities tomorrow. Amy and I are a little bit lost. There's, there's all the snow coverage. Look at that. But we're following people. I know it's up there somewhere. That must be now. And we know there's a 3 3 that way. Oh yeah. So. Look at that view. Could be worse. Descending Immigrant Pass, the high point of the Western States course in the backcountry. There's definitely some snow back here. Just came off the big old hunkin' snow patch. Now a lot of snow mount. So guys, this is a big part of the backcountry right now. Amy and I were just like slipping, sliding, trying to stay upright, running through all this. Oof. Tough. We're not seeing South 14, that's for sure. You want to turn around? Let's turn around. Do some running. <laughs> yes. How are you? <laughs> What's up, buddy? Get in here. <laughs> How are you? Ah. Oh my god, they've got some What's hiking to do tomorrow. Larry? Snow! <laughs> Where are we, Patty? We're on the moon, I think. We're up on the top of the Palisades, I think. It sure looks like it. We got Granite Chief over there, we got Squaw Peak over here. We might drop off the, off the Palisades here and send it. <laughs> What's up, baby? Hey, dude. Nice, nice to, to meet, you. meet you, man. Yeah. How's it going? It's going really well. Your run is done. As you saw, it's very, very snowy. It's pretty messy in the high country. Those guys are in for a treat. As talented as guys like Wamsley is, I, I just don't see how a course record can happen. Okay, so 
I am back in the village. Gonna grab a quick bite and uh, head over to the annual meeting at Olympic Village. Miss Rory Bozio is here. Peace. And Dave, so I'm, I'm amongst We're catching up, man. a couple of great, great <laughs> runners. This runner thrilled us two years ago with perhaps the most exciting moment in the history of this race. And you have to love a sport where the most exciting moment in the history of the race is a last place finisher. <laughs> She finished the race as the oldest woman finisher ever with six seconds to spare. Is back this year to try to extend that record from a Spokane Valley, Washington, third hill. So I'm here with Matt Trappy. Hi, everybody. Look at him. Geared up and look at me. Look at him. Special project, following Jim Walmsley. Look at me. Not working. Come on, Billy. Not working. I'm Thank God. I'm kind of jealous. Actually. Why don't we get you on camera? What are you to work on? I'm trying to keep up with Jim Walmsley. But, How do you know Jim, by the way? Uh, we both were in Montana about, I guess it's maybe three or so years ago. Uh, I was an athlete manager at a uh, like an endurance sports company and all of a sudden this just like random guy started winning races around Montana and you know everybody in Montana in certain scenes yeah. but he just moved to town and uh, we just started communicating online and then I think we went to uh, we did a road trip to speed right, thank you I'm pacing Jim from first hill to the river gearing up for that that's the big thing on the day after that I'll be helping crew support him as much as I can how you doing bud hey Billy you ready to rock and roll tomorrow? Yeah, man. It'll be good. Yeah. Throw out some fireworks. It'll be good. Yeah, there'll be fireworks no matter what. I mean, whether they're shooting at me or I'm shooting them off. I don't know. Oh, yeah, they're getting me a drink. Don't do that in States. Okay. Predictions. Predictions. Uh, first to first to Robinson. J Dub. First to Robinson. Camille Heron. First to Forest Hill. J Dub. First to Forest Hill. J Dub? When did we start calling him J Dub? Somebody said it today. If I got a dog now, it would like throw him off so much. Hello. That's fine. Uh, it's Friday and Sunday will be here. Yeah. Yeah. It's Mario. Oh, it's like fourth weekend. Yeah. Hi, Mario. So. I'm trying to see how long before he notices me. Jesus Christ, man. Where'd you come from? Dinucci, how are you feeling for tomorrow? Awesome, man. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Get some sleep. Top 10? Top Hell five. yeah, dude. Looking forward to it. It's going to be yeah, fun. I'm going to kill it. There's a, there's a bet going that he might drop his first pacer from... <laughs> <laughs> Who would that be, Mario? Uh, you're looking at him, pal. <laughs> it's before 4 in the morning. 3.51 in the morning, to be precise. And it's here. Statesman's morning. Western States, 100, go time. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Yay. Statesmas, everyone. Yay. It's Statesmas. Good morning. This. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually feeling pretty good. Last night was a decent night's sleep. The night before was terrible, but I think all the pieces are in order and should just be able to press go and I shouldn't have to do anything except run. So I've got lots of great people, lots of great volunteers ready to do the job. Exciting day. Um, I think I think the snow will slow Walmsley down a bit, and the ladies, of course, super competitive field, and it's gonna be a fun day. Long day, but a fun day. All right, guys, I'm here at uh, Robinson Flat. Just took shuttles up, and it's actually my first time here as a non-runner, so. 
Decided to check it out. This is a big, the first big aid station at mile 30. Right now it's a little after eight o'clock. Course record pace is 9.30. I'm assuming Jim's gonna come through any point between now and then. Uh, be expecting anything. Doesn't happen without them, the aid station people, so. Coop, you want some camera time? Do you have predictions for today? It's gonna be really hot in the canyons. That is my prediction. You were the worst at this. And, and you were the worst and at this. Michigan Bluff is gonna be a mash unit. I was looking for some hot takes, man. Oh, man. What are you gonna tell me next? Oh, people's quads are gonna be sore. The race is 100.2 miles. Never again. Coop is never going on camera ever again. You're here for Casey, right? I am. I'm here yeah. for Casey. Uh, what is the latest update on Casey? Uh, I think her and Magda are running together in second and third place. Right. Uh, at mile 24. Crew for my buddy Jason from Portland. It's his first 100 miler. Oh man, pacing him last 40. Well, good thing is in Portland, you can run. This is just like Portland. Yeah, right, exactly. Yes. No, this is just like Portland. <laughs> This is just like Portland, right here. We got everything in the ice cooler, so we got ice underneath here. Um, I'm gonna do an ice bandana for the next section. He gets two bottles. He's gonna slam a bottle. And then I've got gels and powder inside the pack. someday but I gotta learn heat first <laughs> I'm a cold runner <laughs> This one's water, that one's rock tin. Or where's the rock tin? Oh, that's Fernando has it. Okay, let's go. That's water? Yep. And that's, and that's rock uh, tin. How many? That's your rock tin. That's. Uh, yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Yeah. 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 Magda and EO just left, and Casey's here. Good job, Casey. 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 Good job,
Yeah, it's feeling a little rough. They're yeah. all pounding. I think everybody's feeling a little rough. Yeah, but the heat Magda looked okay. Well, yeah, when I saw them back there, like without the crowd, Magda and Magda I didn't see Casey. Magda and you were solid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Solid. You were all solid. Yeah, but but her face, like I I know you quite well, and she was calm, calm very and relaxed. How's Magda doing? Also pretty well. I Magda was smiling and good. Yeah. Okay, leaving Robinson Flat, mile 30. You know, Wamsley's crushing it as expected. Uh, but the women's race is really exciting. Andrea Huser from uh, Switzerland is leading. And then about six plus minutes back, who do we have? We had Magda, we had EO, like second and third. And then we had uh, Stephanie and Casey a couple of minutes after that. So it's shaping up to be a really tight and close race. It's probably going to be a lot more carnage than last year. They took a lot longer this year than they did last year to get through that point. And uh, somebody like Casey didn't look nearly as fresh and as good as she did last year. So it's a race. It's on. Back issue on my left side. Like, no, that like seems here. to be much improved. But I still have some. Jim Wamsley. Yeah. All right, buddy. Come on, guys. Looking smooth, Jim. Yeah. From the Michigan Blue. Come on, let's go, Zane. There's nothing between here and Forest Hill, right? No. Jim! Let's go, Jim. Let's go, Jim. 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 Hey, just work the calories and it's easy going. I had to bring these tables for the expo. You know who? I really don't like Asians. Oh shit. That's going in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yes! What's up? I'm so fired up right now. <laughs> hey man. What's up, bro? Good to see you. So that's the aid station down there. It's a long stretch. Before you hit the Cal Street at mile 62. Look at that! <laughs> there should be quite a bit of media following him, I would imagine. Look at this madness. Here's Jim. <laughs> Look at this entourage. <laughs> so there you go. Jim left Michigan Bluff about an hour ago and he's leaving Forest Hill uh, about an hour later. Walmsley did not look too hot coming through here this year compared yeah. to last year. Last year he was flying and putting yeah. on a show. This well, year apparently he threw up as soon as he got to the crew. Yeah. She just rolled in here right after Chris Mako. Chris Mako's battling, man. <laughs> Look, Wansley may be killing it, but in the middle of the M10s, really exciting.
Yeah, just chill out. Oh my god, cats? Cats! Wow. Holy crap. Okay, cats like right in here. Gosh, you guys are amazing. Okay, can I eat something while we're doing this? Yeah, the orange is good. Yes, yes. <laughs> Love it. Wake her up. <laughs> How exciting is this, John? Hi, Kat. Tell Kelly I say hi. Oh, Kelly is rooting for you. I'm sure Kelly's watching this Facebook live stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cat. And Eo's like right behind. Crazy. They're right there. Cat. Eo. Eo. Cat. Insane. Alright. This is a turn to the Cal Street. Holy crap. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> How are you? Woo! You guys seeing this? How are you? Good. Good to see you. <sighs> it's hard to read with uh, somebody like Yo because I've seen her race before and she's just like has her game face on. Cat obviously is in great spirits. She closed. I mean, I think EO had like six, at least six minutes, I want to say, at Michigan Bluff. And Cat made up a lot of ground. Like, she literally pulled up right after EO. That's her pacer Fernando. He's gonna take Magda all the way. Yeah, Team Fernando! <laughs> Team Magda, let's go! The race has officially begun. Go get it, girl! That made me so happy right now. After her year last year, like, and regardless of placement, I, I just want her to have a good day. And she seemed happy, and that made me happy, so. All right. AJW, Eric Schranz, talk about the day. What's going on, boys? Uh, the wow. story of the day is I think the high country took a huge toll yeah. on people. Agreed. I, I, I think this Red Star, the start to Red Star Ridge was just rough and brutal, and it wasn't just snow, it was yeah. just shrapnel on the trail and all. And, and the canyons. And, 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 and people having to just time out at Red Star Ridge. Yeah. I mean, those poor guys at Red Star didn't even have trucks to take people out in. Right. So I think that's that's a huge story, the, the carnage in the high country. But we're you know, the, the, the times are going to be slow for DNFs. I'm going to say it's going to be 60% yeah. finishers rate at best, Ooh, and yeah, they're going to nice save plenty of money on silver buckles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but another story is Casey hasn't arrived here yet, um, and that's sad, but you know, she may be regrouping. Casey. Back from the dead. Good job, Casey. Walking zombie for a while. Casey! Yeah, Pixie! Yeah! I'm so proud of you. Yes. I'm so for you, honey. Thank you so much. Hi, Steph. Yes, I love that. I love that. Oh, you're winning right now, girl. Yes, Steph. Oh, man, you look so much better. Go get it, Steph. Uh, sorry for the lack of updates on this camera, but I've been mostly live streaming the <laughs> the women's race, and ooh, it was intense. Uh, Eo Wang comes through at Forest Hill, and first, Cat Bradley pulls up like a minute and a half later, leaves first, and then Eo catches back up to her. Magda comes through a few minutes later. 
Casey's nowhere to be found and then we wait and we wait and we wait and she finally comes I mean it was just like a bedlam of activity and now I am trying to find driver's flat to go down to the river so uh, let me focus on that what an incredible day I heard like Brian Sands took over the lead now from Jim Walmsley just crazy okay I need to rehydrate and uh, focus on where I'm going talk to you soon all right guys I'm on the Rocky Chucky side and Walmsley's dropped I think he's walking back with this crew stomach went south so Okay. You're alright, you're alright. Yeah. Things didn't stay down today. Okay. Did what you could. Yeah. Give it a go. It was fun. Yeah. Give it a go. For a little while. <laughs> it was fun until it wasn't fun. Yeah, it's yeah, they weren't used to sit down here. Hey Jim, can I get you to park over here for a minute? I've got more. Yeah. He had a good stretch to the for like five miles after Forest Hill. Uh, we yeah, like getting in a good rhythm. He was feeling good again. Um, was getting stuff in. Um, but then that next aid station, things kind of went south there. Yeah, yeah. Water yeah. Got the extra yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'll take cold water in my head. Hi. Headlamp? Have you got it? No. Okay. Well done, Fernando. Nice job, Magda. I'm going to get drunk. Go, go, go. Browning this race, man. Hey, man. Good job, Jeff. What's up, Billy? Go get it, brother. Danuch. Uh, need something? That's great. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sam. You guys are awesome. Thanks for being here. Good job. Nice job. Keep going, Chris. Keep going. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good night, guys. So amazing. Good job. Good job. Woo! Good job. 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 Start dancing to Carlos Santana on No Hands Bridge. Oh, oh, oh. Like that. There you go, girl. Magda? Yeah. Get some water. Yeah. yeah. Super proud of you, Magda. Way to battle out there. Enjoy this finish. Thank you, I will. I'm gonna make it this year. <laughs> yeah, you are, and then some. <laughs> so proud of you. Love you, Billy. Go, girl. Finally here at Placer High. Can't tell you how incredibly stoked I am for Magda after the year she had last year. To be able to round this track in second place is going to be amazing. Great job, Magda, and great job, Kat. I'll see you guys soon. F1 and F2. Billy, Billy, you're everywhere. Zach, what the fuck?
great job back there. Great, great job. Very smart race, kiddo. Thank you. Super proud of you. Well, no Thank you so much. Great attitude <coughs> the entire time. I tried. <coughs> it was hard sometimes. <coughs> Just one Western thing. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. They told me to come here and bring food. Oh, you. <laughs> Good job to you too, man. Thanks, man. That was a rough day. From the Green Gate, one station. From that one to the next one, we were I mean, I want to see the data, but I'm pretty sure we were in low sevens. We were really running. Right. And we still couldn't put any time. So, uh, that was very impressive. Hello. Yeah. I'm going to um, round up them. Um, he's awesome. All right, that is a wrap for me at the Western States 100. I am going to find some place to sleep and then I'm going to make the long drive back home. Thank you guys for watching. I'm tired, but it's been a hell of a weekend. Congratulations to all the finishers. I wish I could cheer each and every one of you on. Signing off from Placer High.